packing up to go home after you've lived in a country for six months. I've lived in Mexico for six months this winter and ran my business internationally right uh, right from here. But there are a few things uh, when I'm going home, I'm packing up, I'm traveling back to Canada. And there's a few things that I do need to do is uh, I need to let my team know, number one, that I won't be available for three days. I'll be limited availability. That'll be in the evenings. I'll be checking my emails and checking uh, my Facebook. That's where I do most of my uh, chatting is on Facebook with uh, all my team members. So if there is something urgent, send it to uh, email me or send it uh, me a message in Facebook. I will be checking that. Uh, when you're packing up, okay, I like Hamica water and here we uh, use a lot of fresh Hamica leaves uh, to make the uh, water. But when you're going home, you need to pack stuff like the Jamaica water. I purchased it in uh, sealed bags that are uh, manufactured. I also uh, purchased all my chilies in sealed bags so that when I go across the border, they are completely sealed. They've been made by a company uh, and uh, sh shipped to Mexico. So they allow those things to cross the border a lot easier. Uh, anything to do with milk, it's a bad idea. Uh, even canned milk, uh, anything like that, especially going into Canada, they do not like that and they do not allow it, okay? Anything that looks like flour, my wife bought flour down here and delayed the plane by two hours and it was her bag they were checking. Uh, they thought it was maybe cocaine, I don't know what they thought it was, but uh, the white uh, flour uh, definitely rose some suspicions with them. So you do that kind of thing. Um, I bought a lot of goodies for for uh, the people back home and they're all in boxes all manufactured boxes that sort of thing um, if you buy liquor when you're crossing the border at Texas I'm going across at Texas you need to have the liquor bottle available show them uh, that there's a dollar 25 at least last time I crossed was a dollar 25 charge to get your uh, liquor through Texas they charge you a transportation tax uh, per bottle uh, when you hit the border at Texas. Uh, another thing that I found was uh, my car, okay? Do not peel that sticker off before you get to the border. That uh, your sticker, your permit for having your vehicle in Mexico, they read that. They need that imprint to read uh, the UPC code off of the, off of the, the actual sticker. Uh, I made the mistake last time of ripping all up and uh, it took us about four hours to straighten it out so don't take that sticker off and uh, the other thing is travel safe travel on quota roads uh, travel on paid roads uh, as most you can a paid highway they're great highways you can uh, save you a lot of time uh, a lot more than it actually costs you to drive on the quota so uh, definitely go on quota roads travel in the daytime be safe travel smart uh, pack right make your liquor available to for uh, viewing when you cross the border all your uh, anything else in packaged bags and uh, you'll be fine so as rich as that you uh, just with a few little tips from what you're gonna do when you uh, head home after being in a country for six months uh, that's what I'm doing for Mexico and I hope that helps you out if you like it uh, leave me a comment uh, if you saw value uh, join my uh, my wall here on, on YouTube and uh, that's it if you really like to share it but uh, this one's a little mixed up because I just went all over the place with what you can actually do for last minute tips on going home and of course make sure your car is ready so from Guadalajara signing out <laughs> beautiful day it's gonna be so hard to go back to putting a jacket on look at I haven't wore a jacket in months 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 that's why i love living like this and i'm going to go home and have to put on a jacket but uh, that's okay uh loving it here and i'm loving it back home so we're gonna talk yeah bye bye for now